It's true. All I see is retarded cockroaches everywhere. Filthy monkeys lost at sea. I'm ready to chop the heads off of gods. I have the spear of destiny, and I'm telling you, I know where the Holy Grail is, and all I see is retarded cockroaches everywhere. I mean, literally, shake anybody. They all think they're in a bowl, floating through space as monkeys. They have no divinity to stop me. I assure you, this is my fucking world. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. All I see is retarded cockroaches, filthy monkeys who think they're on a ball, floating through space is an accident. They have no divinity, for heaven's sakes. They think they're monkeys, cockroaches, lost at sea. They are legally dead, monkeys. They are necrophiliacs, Sodom and Gomorrah, living motherfucker. Oh my God. It's going to be easy to take over this world. I have the favor of your creator, you filthy cockroach. I'm ready to squash you out. If you religious freaks have the courage, type into your computer, what is the spear of destiny? And you'll see, whoever holds the spear of destiny holds the fate of this world. And I'm bringing forth the end of days myself. I know where the holy grail is, and I'm going to get as many people eternal life as I can. It's that simple. I'm bringing forth the end of fucking days myself. We're going to go drink from the living waters and get our eternal life. Some of you are going to pass into the Garden of Eden with me. We're going to grab some seeds, come back here, plant those giant trees. We're going to bring forth heaven and earth, and nobody can stop me. I am literally Satan himself in the flesh, standing on gallons of motherfucking blood, so much spiritual currency. It'll take you years to catch up. I've drank men's true all blood. I can see the Holy Grail. I know invisible mountain will show itself to me. And I'm telling you, until your blood is beside my own, you can't stop me. I have the favor of your creator. You need to make an atonement for your sins, but you think you're sinless. You're a filthy monkey, cockroach, necrophiliac. This world is mine and you can't stop me because there's nothing illegal about taking over the world from the comfort of home. It appears that you're living on a flat earth plane that's sort of like a broken record on the player. It's one side of a light hole's a black hole on loop. Do doop, do doop, do doop. The same story every day, same shit. And until you step up and do something, you know, I have to. And, and that's why I have the spirit of destiny, because none of you guys got the balls to go out there and scream it out. I'm going to do this from the comfort of I'm going to make videos every day pointing at the Holy Grail. It's rubbed in your face. The sun above your head has to place its light into that holy grail. Everything is written onto the flat earth plane. Or it's playing the same shit over and over again, Groundhog Day. And uh, until you get to the center of the dish, you're just going to keep going through the same shit. And if you think this is an accident, you know, it isn't. Blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. It's that the sun drips its blood into the center of the dish where that's where you're going to find your holy grail. There's no way to fuck this up. All you have to do is follow your compass north, and as long as you've done some specific things, you might actually see the invisible mountain if your heart is pure. And uh, it's just that simple. I hope this flips you out so that the power stays in my hands. You know, drinking men's chew all blood from your wife gives you mythical powers to see stuff nobody can see. And until you do this, I assure you, you ain't going to see the Holy Grail. You're going to be like... You know, if you were to go there right now on your own and try and find the place, you couldn't unless you drank your wife's menstrual blood. This place is guarded, is blocked off. You have to, this is Invisible Mountain and uh, Mount Maru. You know, I could spell everything out for you, but you wouldn't see it because you need to go through an awakening. You need to go through certain rites and shit that you would never even think of. When I tell you that the elixir of immortality, okay, was drank by kings, and it comes from your wife, the men's true all blood. It's real. And it awakens your senses to see stuff nobody can see. When I make videos showing you how to access Link and do all kinds of cool stuff, you know, you'll call me a vampire because I post blood magic videos, how to take control of your reality. And that's funny that you're scared you call me satanic and all this stuff. It's going to be easy to take over this world. Nobody can see anything until I personally spell it out for them. And you'll call me a vampire. That's funny. You know, you could go... Eat your foods that you're eating with those HEK-293 aborted baby fetuses in it. You're a filthy, necrophiliac, cockroach, monster, cannibal living in Sodom and Gomorrah. This is my fucking world now. Bet your ass on it. We're living in the Matrix for real. One side of a light hole is a black hole. You see, Link is the black sun. Clearly, 
with the green aurora borealis shooting out of the black hole somewhere every compass points to. This is the infinite potential, the Earth's memory. This is Lucifer, the goddess of the Earth. And I'm telling you, when I write something on a piece of paper or I do blood magic and publish it to the internet on my channel under Blood Over Intent, I'm telling you that shit comes real. And I get access to see shit like I'm being downloaded with knowledge. It's unbelievable. I can see shit nobody can see. There's no way anybody can stop me from taking over this universe. I don't need anybody's help. What I want you to do is this. I want you to understand something. I've been flying my colors clear this whole time. And in the next couple of years, you're going to see how the world transitions. I know how to access Link. And until you know how to do this in a selfless way, you ain't going anywhere. It's true. You're the father of all lies. You teach your children about Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy. You teach them that they're on a bull floating through space as a monkey, the Easter Bunny. You have them take vaccinations and you know they're bad for them. And you just want to just keep feeding them all this garbage. It's just everything about you is so filthy or retarded. You're, every word you speak is a magic spell that I can reverse to expose your lies. I have to reverse your speech to expose your lies because you're a black fucking magician. You took your test with your number two shit pencil. And a number one is a peepee, number two is shit. Everything that comes out of your mouth is shit. You never told your children a single truth. You're the filthiest black magician of all. You think you're on a bull floating through space as a monkey. And even after hearing me tell you the truth, you will not want to face it. Because you're a filthy, necrophiliac monster, legally dead, lost at sea in this world is mine. Fuck you. That's kind of funny. See? So the bad guy is Jesus. The good guy is Satan. I'm not making this up. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe. This is all quotes. Who has promised that we shall never, never die. This is a Masonic source which blows them out of the water. The most powerful substance in the universe is your own blood. You take an idea from your head and you bring it into this reality. You write it down, you put your blood on it, you publish it to the internet. And somehow this changes your whole alchemy. And I went from a fucking retard to taking over the universe. You don't have to like it. So the bad guy is Jesus. The good guy is Satan. I'm not making this up. You know, you'll see these ancient drawings, and it's clear. It's a flat, round disc. It's like a CD. The sun goes round and round and round, burning everything that's happening here into the Akashic Record. And, you know, every idea you have in your head, a little shimmer comes off your head. It's called an elemental, and it gets woven into reality. Once you figure out how to write reality, like I'm doing with blood and stuff, you know, then you know how to work the CD and do neat stuff. Grab shit from the Akashic Record using your intent and blood uh, because that essence goes out to this record and pulls up previous information that's been left there specifically for you. You think this is an accident? You know, this is crazy, you know. Alvar by Joftin, it's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. It's really, if I don't point out the Holy Grail every day of my life, vigorously like this everybody will die of old age or stupidity you know i say it's going to be easy to take over this world you either fucking get aboard or you don't it's right over there this is why they hid flat earth from you but they hid it from you in plain sight so that it, it was your fault you were just too stupid to see the obvious and it's clear why they hid the flat earth because as long as you can't see that the holy grail's there you're going to die and they can remain you know ruling over us somehow. You know, these guys that rule over us, they can't get in there. They got to drink the blood of children, okay? That's how they stay alive for however many thousands of years, but they can't pass through that hole because uh, they need to be seven generations removed from that bloodline of this reptilian. You're the reptilian at the core of your brain, but you're more than seven generations removed and you're allowed back into the Garden of Eden. If you put up on paper, what your intent is. Only the devil hides his intent. Everybody knows that. And evil is when good people do nothing. So it's pretty clear. You know, you don't deserve everlasting life until your blood is put up side by side, published for the universe to see on the Ethernet, the World Wide Web. This is how I got the Spear of Destiny when I became pure. I said, I'm going to bring forth heaven and earth, release everybody from bondage. And, uh, you know, and I could. 
See the Holy Grail? I know where the fucking everything is. Nobody's going to stop me from getting my eternal life. You can do what you want. I'm going to take over this world because you're just going to play dead like a silly little monster lost at sea. You gave up your inheritance. This world is mine. Ethernet is a term for a network. And the early computer guys were creating the first network somewhere around 1974, 75. They decided to call it Ethernet after the concept of ether that was in early alchemy. We must create a super right which remains unknown. Only some may know these things and others not. Some people suggest that this is a cult, blood over intent. That's kind of funny. See, so the bad guy is Jesus. The good guy is Satan. I'm not making this up. He's known as the supreme architect of the universe. This is all quotes. Who has promised that we shall never, never die. This is a Masonic source which blows them out of the water. The most powerful substance in the universe is your own blood.